this video, I will demonstrate how you can use Audio Snap to adjust the timing of a bass track using the timing of a drum track. Let's say that your drummer recorded a drum part that you really like the timing of, but maybe he didn't use a click track when recording, or perhaps you just really like the feel of the way he recorded the part. Instead of quantizing the bass track to a grid, we can quantize the bass track to the drum track using Audio Snap. In this first example, the bass player did a fairly good job of playing to the drum part, but there are a few spots that could be better and overall, the bass track could be tighter with the drums. <laughs> The bass performance is pretty close, but we can tighten it up further with Audio Snap. Select the drum track and right click anywhere in the middle of the track and choose Audio Snap, Audio Snap Enable, or press F12. The Audio Snap window will open, and from the Audio Snap window, choose the second button from the left which will show you the transients in your file. Audio Snap does a pretty good job of figuring out where the transients in your file are, but you can adjust the sensitivity by using a combination of the sensitivity and threshold sliders to make sure that Audio Snap has included all the transients you want. Now I need to add the transients of the drum track to the pool, so I will press the third button from the left, which is the Add Transients to the Pool button. In order to snap my bass track to the drum track, I need to enable Audio Snap on the bass track, which I can do by either right-clicking and choosing Audio Snap, Audio Snap Enable, or by pressing F12. However, this time, instead of adding my transients to the pool, I want to quantize from the pool. So in the Audio Snap window, under the task list, I'm going to choose Quantize to Pool. Next to the Quantize to Pool button, you'll notice a Quantize Strength slider bar. This will allow you to adjust how closely sonar snaps to the transients in the pool. For this example, I'm going to leave it at 100. You may have noticed that sonar snapped the transients to the pool as we specified, but if I play back the track now, you'll hear that the audio sounds a bit distorted. Audio snap works best if you perform an offline rendering of the newly snapped track, so I'm going to bounce this track to a clip to hear what the finished snap sounds like. Before I render to a clip though, I'm going to set Audio Snap to render at the best resolution, so I'm going to select the clip properties by selecting the track and by pressing Alt plus Enter, or I could have right clicked on the audio track and chosen clip properties from the pop-up menu. Select the audio stretching tab and you'll see a drop-down box for the offline rendering algorithm. As this is a bass track, I'm going to choose Radius Bass Solo. Now I'm ready to render to a clip. Under the Edit menu, choose Bounce to Clip. This will render the processed audio using the Radius algorithm. Here's the drums and the bass together. The bass track is now a lot tighter with the drums. In the next example, the drummer played a slightly more complicated drum beat, and unfortunately the bass player got a little too excited and rushed his bass performance. The bass part is fairly well out of time with the drums, but again, it's easily fixable with Audio Snap. I'm going to repeat the same process, so once again I'll select the drum track and press F12 to enable Audio Snap. I'll add the transients to the pool, and then I'll enable Audio Snap on the bass track. Once again, I'll quantize to the pool and leave the strength slider at 100. I'm also going to make sure that the Radius Bass Solo is selected on the Audio Stretching tab of the Clip Properties dialog box, and finally, bounce the clip. Here's the newly snapped drum and bass part. This is much tighter than before, but there's still a note or two that could be fixed further. If I wanted to go adjust these notes, I could once again enable Audio Snap on this track and move the transients individually by dragging the individual transients. In this video, I've just barely scratched the surface of what's possible with Audio Snap. Audio Snap is extremely powerful and can be used to fix the timing of virtually any instrument or vocal performance.